If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, determine the general flow pattern for the following network. So at each intersection, we want the flow in to equal the flow out. So we'll start with this first intersection, and you can see that there's 700 plus 800 cars flowing in, and X1 plus X4 cars flowing out. Similarly with the next one, X1 plus X2 in, and 600 plus 600 out. For this next one, we have X4 plus X3 flowing in, and 900 plus 400 flowing out. And the last one, we have 500 plus 500 flowing in, and X2 plus X3 flowing out. And so let's put all the variables onto the left side, all the constants on the right, and you'll see here we have a non-homogeneous system. And we know how to solve those. So what we'll do now is slap an augmented matrix on that bad boy and row reduce until we're in reduced row echelon form. I of course am going to do this off screen because I spend too much time doing row operations. So once you compute uh, the reduced row echelon form, you should get the following matrix. And we could write the corresponding system to this matrix. And now notice that we have pivots in the first three columns, but the fourth column there's no pivot. So x4 is a free variable. And so we might as well write all of our basic variables in terms of our free variables. And when we do that, we get x1 is 1500 minus x4, x2 is negative 300 plus x4, and x3 is 1300 minus x4. So our uh, solution x uh, is as follows. And now we could keep we could break this vector up into the constant terms, which is 1,500 minus 300, 1,300 and zero, plus x4 times the coefficients of x4. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.